we saw AF Blue generally just be a little bit better here. I mean, what are your thoughts coming into this one? I mean, Farrah. given what we've known from previous, <laughs> I have one thought, Farah. I want to see some Farah going on. We have to, we have to see it at some point because I have not seen a recruit fight at Detonator. I haven't seen anything besides four tanks, and now they're running four tanks that may have one support. Then they're trying to switch things up, but they don't have the healing to survive this damage that Reaper can do. Our hand is just tearing through them. Makes absolutely no sense. He don't really deal with our hand as well. He's more than happy to shoot a tracer even if she's got a shield up there. Datefly getting himself two kills there as well, as Anna getting aggressive. AF Blue just wiping the floor with them here. On Night Market, we'll probably see AF Blue maybe move back out on towards the middle and take the fight here. So then they don't have anything really to get the jump on AF Blue now. This team comp makes very little sense to me. Single support against, I mean, this combination of flankers is so scary. I don't understand why you have a Reinhardt for Savage Doom in this situation either because he's so dependent on support and so dependent on your team. I can understand three DPS, two tanks, and one support because with those DPS, you can make these big plays happen. But these tanks who rely on a lot of healing, if yeah, Roadhog, you can also heal yourself, you still rely on a lot of your team to help you out. You can't really accomplish anything, and they're finally switching some stuff around with Delave going over to the Reaper, but it's, still not, it's not bad, but the Winston. Uh, I mean, Sjorn, you could be an amazing Winston player, but when you're up against a Reaper who can just sit on you and it's Arhan, like, this guy's been amazing, are you really going to be able to survive this? And Recry can exploit, you know, the Reinhardt of uh, Stylish Noob until the cast of Hope, as much as he likes. So now Arhan's going to get the nano boost, he's actually knocked back down, I think he wanted to be up there early on, but the wall forced him back a little bit here, so he doesn't get much value at all out of the nano boost, he's back with that one. He's going to jump up on the corner now, maybe just try and trace the movements of Detonator here. They drop down, they know he's there, but he's probably going to follow them up here as well. Going to be the Death Boss and coming in over the top, and Recry's already getting himself two kills. The Reaper and Tracer are AF Blue are tearing Detonator to shreds. Alright, so they switched again over to Tracer this time, so they got off the Reaper, go for Tracer, a little bit more, um, more able to actually float around the map. Problem is, if Recry kind of sticks to him, he's gonna have a very difficult time here. And AF hey, Blue, this is aggression, this unrelenting aggression. I think he's catching Detonator off guard. They're not getting a chance to breathe. They're not getting that second to say, all right, what do we need to do to adapt to the situation? The next, he's going in with the maze. He's gonna pop the Blizzard down. They actually might be able to accomplish a decent uh, amount of work off of this, but still, Adam's able to come back into the Winston, not actually being dropped, even while the Blizzard's being thrown down. Yamartin having to back away here as well. The Bionic Grenade making it a little bit hard for him to stay around, and he gets taken down. Jin able to pick him up, and Siora not too far behind. It's gonna be the tanks now that AF Blue pick up the Slack as the DPS's were taken down. The switch towards Vasti now for I, and he's picking that one up, Jason. If that's not confidence, I don't know what is. Well, we're gonna see XQ finally on McCree. So we're finally gonna have we're not a gonna switch. See it. We're not gonna see it. Okay, we're not gonna see it. <laughs> I got my hopes up. I got my hopes up. But he went to it, and it looked like he wanted to. I sure, know. I mean, that, they, they, I think. Maybe I think that they realized rate. they had no one close enough there to really do anything about that fight at all. That was pretty scary. I mean, we even saw the Bastion for our hand, but it didn't matter. Detonator. I'm making changes to the team composition, Jason, but it doesn't seem like they're the right ones. And it doesn't I seem mean, like they've got the, the right direction here. I can praise them for being willing to change comps, but I can't necessarily 100% praise them for the comps that they're going to. Um, I like their willingness to change, but I don't like what they're actually switching to composition-wise. Um, and this is leading me to believe, at least for Detonator, they don't have a strong McCree player. You need the McCree for Tracer. Like 100%, you need to protect your supports, and when you're only running one support, that that support that player in turn becomes even more important for your team. Yeah, if you want to back the Roadhog up with a uh, with the McCree, that's fine. You have a lot to do with flankers. That's a sick combo to do Farrah. with flankers. Okay, oh, Farrah Mercy on both sides coming. We actually have Farah in the mix, but only only just the Farah here for AM. Arhan's actually happy enough to be self-sufficient for the moment, but XQ is going to pick up Dayfly to start things off. That's the Anna off the field. Now Arhan needs to deal with his combo. How are you going to kill a Farah being boosted by a Mercy and healed up constantly? Oh. Perhaps even the focus should be shifted to the Mercy in this case, but Arhan at least is keeping them both busy. <laughs> Detonator though, Delave into Saint, uh, Sergeant Noob, stylish Sergeant Ooh. Saint Noob is going to get in there, but Arhan's taking a lot of damage from these direct hits. Oh, he hit the direct hit onto Mercy, Yamato actually goes down to Recar, is able to clean up the kill, and what what can't Arhan play at this rate? He's, play, he's played pretty much everything, there's a bash been thrown, he's finally going to fall for this one as Delay was able to get the hook or the right click onto him eventually. Um, you switch to McCree? Do you switch to McCree? You sure so can. You take, uh, you take him out of the sky and he has no chance. And obviously the Deadeye can be channeled while the Resurrection's happening as well. It buys you a lot of extra time, but it looks like he wants to keep it. Yep. Well, Recry's not having any problems there as well. He's a beast of a tracer. Now, look at him. He's pressuring over towards the Mercy here. It's going to have to be dangerous times. And, well, it's uh, Yamasin getting taken out very, very quickly there. So Recry pressuring down nicely on that one here. XQ now lo no longer has a pocket, but does at least have his ultimate to use in this fight. But AF Blue will push Detonator right back into their spawn. So Arhan, in theory, can keep both 
Yeah, Martin and XQ busy there if he tries to take on this Farrah Mercy combo. Even if he's not trying to kill them, Jason, if he can keep the skies nice and busy, that gives AF Blue a man advantage elsewhere. So, yeah, if I was Detonator here, if I were XQ, I would probably try to go for the Barrage, try to make something happen off the back of this. You know, your Gravitron Surge isn't ready, then switch to three. You need to deal with Arha. And once you kill him once, once you eliminate him from the sky, you can have a little bit more even fight. XQ is just not being punched. How is he not actually done for this one? The rebounds are going to come in the last seconds. Finally, going to fall after the rebounds happen, but the Pulse Bomb. Is that a Pulse Bomb coming in? Did he just help get so much damage on the two or three people? He did indeed, that was Recry there. Amongst the fight, Yes Man actually got himself a couple of kills. It could have been a boop off the edge, we were watching Recry at the time. But now AF Blue, this control is extreme for them. XQ and Yamartin haven't been able to make the impact they've needed to with this combo. The Pharah Mercy needs to be a centerpiece of your team, and as such, they need to be inflicting the most pain. But so far, if they're doing the most pain, it's not nearly enough. Good hook from Delay, that's how you deal with the Tracer. And now XQ trying to pressure over towards our hand here. No healing forth coming for him, and one more shot will do the job. He's being healed up by Azana. XQ going a little bit too deep and then having to back away. Yamartin almost died there as well. You can see he's so low. Our hand picks him up. Nicely done there. Now it's going to be just the one Pharah on its own. XQ now needs to run for cover. Please get some darn healing. AF Blue are picking at the right heroes here. Their focus has been damn good. And now XQ can't do a heck of a lot here on his own. He's being challenged out by Arhan, but he's down. He's low. Arhan picks him up. Daybly, you sexy man. The amount of healing he's been able to do, which isn't easy because he's, he's going to have to scope in to hit Adam. He's, or Adam needs to predict the way he's going to move. And you can dump altitude on Farrah. You do it all the time. So that's super hard for you to heal them up as it is for the enemy to hit you. And you can't hit by a grenade onto him. That you really can't. Like There's no way you can predict where he's going to be and throw that one across the map. So the amount of healing he's been able to do is acting as a pseudo mercy well, without having to be vulnerable in the air. Well, I ain't gonna get the enemy here as well. It's gonna go in for the barrage. He gets a little bit of damage off that one, but only Stylish needs to fall here. XQ with two now. He actually managed to find Jin on towards that one. The mercy though is down for Detonator. They don't have that available here. There was no res, regardless. Still would have been good to have. XQ gonna be forced away. Forced to go for the barrage, but it gets taken down. And AF Blue just dominant again on this second stage. I had to make the switch towards 76, but it wasn't required. Apparently, if it's good enough, one Pharah can take a Pharah Mercy down. You know, I, I want to say, I want to believe that Arhan can do that 1v2, but I feel like if you throw Tailspin in there, things are going to get a little bit rough for Arhan. Tailspin? Tailspin, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess if you want to bring him over and put him in that, but uh, obviously... We can't I, again, what, what I, I want to say is that, I, I'm trying to say that I don't know if that was Arhan out playing the 1v2, or if that was just Detonator not really feeling confident in the Mercy, or into the Pharah. The XQ just didn't really seem to hit a lot of the shots that... Maybe you need to if you're going to play fair at this kind of level. I don't care, because he's coming into this game with the one arm chopped off, essentially, going up against the, the other Pharaoh without a mercy, and he's still winning. But he's got Anna. He's got Anna the healing. Yeah, to a degree, but that's obviously still a lower percentage. It's harder to hit those heals and make them consistent, so... I still think he played that one better in general. It doesn't bother me too much, but now it's going to be Control Center here. The last map potentially for Detonator if they can't show us a little bit more than what we've seen in the past. Delay just gets bursted straight down. They fly. Nice job there with the Discord all. And they've actually switched up against that right end this time. They have the Genji Tracer yet again because it's very close quarter combat. It's like that Arhan, Adam, Recry all chiming in to pick up these kills. And that may well be going to save you for now, XQ, but it won't do much in the long run. And again, Detonator just sitting back to. Uh, actually, not, they're not even sitting back there. They have a take set up. And they put Sioran over on the Reaper and XQ on the May. So they've actually changed things up again. But is it too late? Still is it the right comp that they need? Single support comp for Detonator. And with I'm sorry, it is triple tank. Wow, yeah. I thought <laughs> I thought Savage so New for some reason was on a support there. No. Yeah, it is triple tank setup still. Uh, yeah, so one support, just for Lucio here, for the whole team's worth of healing. It's probably not gonna be enough to be honest, but Sioran takes down Arhan there after Arhan already got both of the tanks out. That's a that's a of course the Genji getting rid of your two big tanks, that's a huge deal. You might what, what are you gonna do there, really? On your own, has to really try and back away or just die on the spot. And that dragon blades up, transcendence is up, from a rage is up, going to sound barrier soon. Graviton not far away, and AF Blue, realistically, if they play through these alts well can hold to 70% or more. And then they still have nothing to deal with with Recry or Arhan. Like they don't have a McCree for the stun. They don't have like an easy guaranteed kill. Yes, you can hit an ice spike and cast, cast Recry off to pick up an easy kill, but it's very difficult to do. And that blizzard's gonna come down, it's gonna buy a little bit of time, maybe a little bit more space, but if he's more than happy to just sit back on point, keep the percentage ticking, and then go for the re-engage after. Yeah, and that was timed really well. Yes man came down, he dropped the beat just as the blizzard cleared, and that was the signal for AF Blue to come forward. Look at that! They wiped that fight six for zero after the blizzard came in. Detonator weren't able to capitalize off the back of that mail whatsoever. And they have just smashed them. And look at that, they've still got these two key ults in play. They've still got the Graviton now coming up. They're going to have a Pulse Bomb soon. So they're, you know, being fairly selective about how they use these ults. And they're going to last them a while. Now 70% is coming through. We can see the hook coming in earlier on. And Dele wasn't able to get the kill. And yes, man, just in the mix here, healing up, booping away as he possibly can. Even get the melees in. And this is a uh, just miles ahead of Detonator right now. This is just a slaughter. Like, there's nothing else to say about it. I, I want to talk about how. You know, is doing some things right, but even though even though they're so willing and, and are switching so often, 
it's just not working. I don't think even on a basic FPS 101 level of skill, you're able to compete against AF Blue at this rate. No, look at Arhan as well. Uncontested, undetected almost there. We did see the Death Blossom come through there, but it was actually executed to himself two kills as yes, man, it happened to fall down. But Arhan can still run rampant here. He's going to get the Dragon Blade out, and he's looking for another one. XQ was lucky to get away, but he eventually dropped regardless. Yamatsu falling down, and the extra swing to the Dragon Blade is going to be enough. Jin puts Stylish Noob six feet under, and AF Blue now to the stand on the point triumphant. It's the Tracer now to try and stall out. Dele, though, not lasting long at all. Recry is the better Tracer in this situation. And AF Blue are the better king of the heel team. A 2-1 series and a dominant performance over both these maps from the Koreans. I wonder who the MVP is going to be now, Mitch. It's got to be our head. It's got to be our head for this series. You can get the, the play of the match here as well on the, the Fera. So this is the oh. Nanabu. This actually gets oh, caught wow. in goes for a barrage this one here as well. So this is... We didn't actually see this. I think we almost just saw this man get the boots off there when XQ came back in. There was a res into an Arhead to get the kill. So that's pretty darn scary. Definitely a, a reasonable reputation that he comes